arc, angles, and algebra. Find each value or measure. Assume that segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. Solve for x. So x is inside of this interior intersection. So if it's interior, it's add. So you add their corresponding angles and cut it in half. So our interior angle is the uh, angle on the outside. So 3x plus 23 equals 1 half of the sum of its corresponding angles. <clears throat> so then we've got 3x plus 23 equals a half of 130. 3x plus 23 equals 65. Minus 23, 3x equals 42, and x equals 14. You try number two. All right, these two are tangent, so tangent is co uh, corresponding to its half of its corresponding arc. So this angle measure, 6x minus 38, is equal to half of its corresponding arc, which in this case is 140. 6x minus 38 equals 70. 6x equals 108, add, um, add 38, divide by 6 and x equals 18. All right, this one, if we know that this is 23, then its corresponding arc is double the size. So that means that this is 46. And then if that's 46, we can subtract from 360 to get the measure of this guy. So we can say 360 minus 46 is 314. So we can say 314 degrees is equal to 14x minus 22. 14x equals 336. Divide by 14 and x equals 24. All right, this one's got an exterior angle point, which means we're going to subtract the corresponding arcs. So our um, exterior angle is 7x minus 1 equals 1 half the subtraction of 161 minus 65. 7x minus 1 equals 1 half of 96. 7x minus 1 equals 48 plus 1. 7x equals 49. And divide by 7, x equals 7. Okay, similar scenario here. We just have a 74 and an 86, so we need to know this remaining piece of 360. So 74 plus 86 minus 360 is 200 degrees. So then we've got 4x plus 13 equals 1 half. 200 minus 86, 4x plus 13 equals 1 half of 114, 4x plus 13 equals 57, 4x equals 44, and x equals 11. All right, now we're going to add in some um, actual expressions for multiple pieces, and we can still solve it. It's just going to take a little extra combining and solving. So it says, if CB is 5x plus 41, and AD is 7x minus 19, and AED is 89, then find AD. So uh, this is an interior intersection, so it's a sum. So we can say 89 equals 1 half 
the sum of its corresponding. So 5x plus 41 plus 7x minus 19. And then we're going to combine like terms and solve. So we've got 89 equals 1 half, 5 and 7 is 12x's, 41 and uh, negative 19 is 22. So then multiply by 2, or you could distribute the half either way, but let's multiply by 2 because that's what we've been doing. So 178 equals 12x plus 22. 12x equals 178 minus 22. 156 divided by 12, x equals 13. But we're not quite done. We just need to plug it back into AED. So 7 times 13 minus 19, which is going to be 72 degrees. You try number 8. All right, let's try some more with tangents. So if BED, the arc BED, is 15x minus 47, that corresponds to angle ABD. And then uh, the measure of arc BD, this guy, is 9x minus 1. We'd like to find the measure of CBD. CBD. So CBD corresponds to BD, which is 9x minus 1. There's two different ways you could do this problem. You could sum those together to 360 and get the measure of x, or you could um, you could set up a expression about the one half uh, business. Let's go to the 360 route. All right, and then we can plug it back in to BD. So 9 times 17 minus 1, which is 152, sorry, degrees. And then if we want the interior angle, we cut that in half. So half of 152 leaves us with 76 degrees. All right, TSV. And SV, those correspond to each other. And then we'd like to find SUV eventually, but we will work on this half of the picture first. So we know that um, this interior angle is half the size of its corresponding arc. So the best way is to double your smaller angle and make it equal to your larger one. So let's double the small one and make it equal to the larger one and solve, so 12x plus 34 minus 15 
minus 34. Mm, I think I made a mistake. Hold on. Oh, right here. 12x. That's why. Ah, sorry. So 12x minus 15x is going to be a 3x. And then 13 minus 24 is 21. I'm so sorry. Divide by 3. X equals 7. And then let's plug it back into SV. So 15 times 7 plus 13. 118 degrees minus 360. So it's going to leave you with 242 degrees. All right, last couple are exterior points. Recall that these ones are big minus the small. So we know that NJ, so that's our big one, is 170. Small MK is 5X plus 8. And the N interior angle is this. So our interior angle is the half of the big minus the small. I put this in a second set of parentheses because this subtraction is going to apply to both of these pieces. So we've got 4x plus 3 equals 1 half 170 minus 5x minus 8. 4x plus 3 equals 1 half. And then 170 minus 8 is 162. So I'll rewrite it as negative 5x uh, plus 162. And then we can double this side. So 8x plus 6 equals negative 5x plus 162. Add 5x's. I'll finish over here. So we've got 13x. And then we're going to subtract 6 equals 156. Divide by 13 and x equals 12, finally. And then we want the measure of um, MLK. So we want this interior angle. So we just plug it into MLK. So 4 times 12 plus 3. 4 times 12 plus 3 is 51 degrees. All right, why don't you try 12 and 13 on your own? Thank you.